Okay, we're into an intermediate level tutorial here. Still going to be a small size one though. This is uh, uh, Mike, Jeff, and Lisa. Lisa, Jeff, and Mike's technology lab. And we're on the course Adobe Captivate CS5. We're gonna enhance and edit some caption boxes in a Captivate video before we go to publish it. So we've learned how to publish a video. We learned how to publish it into various formats in the beginner tutorials. We learned how to do a couple other small Captivate things in the beginner tutorials. Most of the stuff after that is past beginner. So what we're gonna do now is deal with some of the contents of those slides before we actually publish. We're still gonna make it a small size video, but it's gonna be a little more advanced. So we're gonna do some removing and adding captions to already recorded slides. We're also gonna try and add hyperlinks to recorded slides, which is something I just found in the help menu. I'm trying to figure out if it's gonna work or not. We'll see, but uh, I'll show you guys exactly how to do it. Um, the reason I'm wondering if it's going to work is because I'm going to be publishing still down to um, like a compressed video format for YouTube, and I know it would work in Acrobat. So I'll show you how to set it up. Uh, and tips from the pros, a cleaner video is a better video, and what I'm about to show you enables you to clean up captions that you don't really need. And it's, it's you know, I probably could have put this at the beginner. It's pretty simple, but here, I'll show you guys. Let's check it out. So here's a recording that I just set up. Uh, that walks you through the various resources and availability uh, for things you can go to to get more help on Captivate. So this is going to be part of the beginner level tutorials and I haven't published it yet and I'm actually throwing this advanced one in there because I think people that get through the beginner ones would actually be ready for something like this. So I recorded this video which you've probably already seen now. Uh, I don't know if the hyperlinks would have worked or not. Um, and this particular video, I'm going to use the first slide of the video once I get it into YouTube as the image for my playlist. So I went ahead inside of here and I added this box. Okay. I put that in there. So I'm going to remove it and try this again. Okay. So I want it to say beginner and I'm going to try and do something similar for each particular, um, for each particular playlist. Okay. So insert a text caption just pops in there. Whatever slide you're sitting on, it just pops in there. Once you have it in there, you type what you want. And I want beginner, okay, because this is for the beginner tutorial. Don't hit enter because it's a text box, right? If you hit enter, you're just going to make more lines. I always have students doing that when we do uh, comments in Excel. So just click outside of it once it's done. And then when you click on it again and you get the handlebars around it, those are called handlebars, then you can move it to wherever you want. So I'm going to have it down like a little below the letters, something like that, maybe a little more centered ish. Maybe, yeah. So that's it. I just added a caption. Down here, um, where were we where I saw that? Uh, this. I don't need this in here. There's going to be captions you're going to see in your video. And my resolution is pretty squashed right now. You're going to have an easier time seeing this. But um, I don't want that press escape key in there. Okay. I just hit the escape key because I needed to to get out of a certain slide. But So I'm just going to sit on it and delete the caption and then it doesn't become part of it. Because while I've shown you it's very interactive and helpful in Captivate that it adds these captions, it's gonna add captions for everything you do and you might not need them all. Now, for the sake of time in this video, I'm not gonna go through and clean up the entire video and start removing all the captions, but there's a really easy crash course on uh, sticking a caption in a slide. And again, whatever slide you're sitting on, if you click the Add Caption button, it just shows up in there. Um, see, now that I want in there, press Alt-Tab. I wanna have you guys knowing that I'm using Alt-Tab. Um, so beginner, uh, I put that in there. I also want to try and attempt to create hyperlinks to these actual pages. Now, I don't think with the format that I'm publishing down to, which is publish, okay, if I go to publish this video and I want to publish down, I'm down here on media and I'm publishing to F4V format. Okay, this, this is a compressed video format. I don't think it's going to allow that kind of interactivity in there. It'll just build everything into the video and that's pretty much it. But I'm, I'm hoping it might because it's still in Adobe format. I just don't know what YouTube's going to do to it. Um, so what I've done is I've gone, see this here? Okay. This is a button and I've added this from here. Okay. Insert, no wait, right here. <laughs> insert button. Okay. And when you insert button, it'll go wherever you're, whatever slide you're on, it'll just go there. And then you can drag it and put it where you want. And then over on the right in the properties area, in the properties panel, you can tell the button what you want it to say. And you can tell the button where you want it to go. This is really cool. So you can have hyperlinks inside of your video. Now I know the initial way I've taught you to publish, if you go to publish 
and you're up here at the top and you publish and export to PDF, that they'll be able to click in your PDF and go to those pages directly. Like those will work in a PDF. Because I'm going to YouTube, so this is more accessible for everyone so they can see it, I don't know that these will for sure work. Um, and we're going to find out, but I just wanted to show you guys how I did them. So in here, in the side menu, you click on button. So I'm going to do a new one back up here, okay? Button. It shows up. Now that you're on that button already, so you can move it around, okay? All the properties of that button, I mean, it's pretty user-friendly, right? It's called button right now. I'm going to call it Mike's button, okay? And then I can change the font. I can change that. I can change the size. I can change the color. I can, you can do all kinds of stuff. It's an Adobe app, right? So, And then down here, if I keep going, um, where did URL go? So action, uh, options. Okay, I just did this two seconds ago with it. See, and this is why you want to make sure you practice this stuff. So here, 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 button, character, general. Yeah, URL. Am I blind? I think I am blind, people. Mike's button. Action. Ah, right. You have to choose. Yeah, very good. You have to choose that you want to use a URL, okay? Some of you might have beat me to that if you were doing this with me during the video. So once you put the button in, you can do a lot of things with a button. Okay, I'm choosing to go open URL or file, and then you put a website address right in there. You can cut and paste one, whatever. So I know this will work, so I'm, I'm going to just remove that one. So that's an example of me making one. I'm just going to delete on it, and it says, okay, yep, yeah, no problem. I've put buttons for each of these three websites in both of the last two slides so people can click on them. I know they'll work when I publish to Acrobat, um, sorry, PDF. We're going to find out if they're going to work when I publish to F4V. So we're going to see what happens. Down to media, F4V video, publish. All right. And I'll see you guys in the next video.